Okay, now a few of you have asked for some more information about Victor's drawings. So I'm here with the man himself, and at the moment he's working on one from the last shoot. So the last shoot was rumoured to be the hunting lodge of many kings, including King John. So Victor, where did you get the inspiration from? Um, well, I mean, it's, it's, first of all, it's great to draw horses. You know, he gave me one horse to draw and happy. I've got four in here or five, which is even better. And if you get some dogs thrown in, I mean, generally it's a great subject because everybody's moving away at high speed and the costumes are terrific. You had to do quite a lot of research actually to get everything, everything right. One of the biggest problems is hard to tie a dead deer on the back of a pony. I hope that's more or less right, I mean, no 100% no, sure. But, um, so basically I had to do this and then find out a bit more about the buildings, which didn't actually come up until the very end of the programme. Even then there wasn't very much of it. So uh, I left it to the very last. It's always also a good idea to keep the buildings a very pale colour so you can do auto corrections on it. There's always corrections on the buildings, <laughs> unfortunately. And so I saw you having a chat earlier to the buildings expert on site. Yeah. You work with a lot of different archaeologists? I do, yes, yeah. It, um, well, we have, we have, obviously we have the Romanists, and we have the medievalists. Richard is a medievalist, and we are trying to untangle this um, lodge, which is mm. just down the road from here. Very difficult because you only have engravings or very early photographs sometimes and they're all taken from a different angle and you never know whether you got the right perspective. Your job not. to put them all together. Yeah. So you must have become quite an expert yourself on the buildings, architecture, costumes. Uh, yes. Uh, well, I say yes. <laughs> Says he bigger than me. <laughs> not, not really, but I mean... Um, I've been doing it for ever since the first program, which is about what, 14 years ago now. Um, and you, um, you, you you do research all the time, so um, you, you learn a lot. You really do learn a lot on the way. I mean, things like costume, for instance, is um, is an essential because everything has to be drawn very fast. You haven't got time to sit back and start digging up what was going on. You have to keep on drawing. And so how, how long do you usually spend on each drawing? I mean, on the average, on a programme, I have sort of one day each for a, for a drawing at, at the most. Sometimes when you get a bigger full colour thing like this one, then, then you, have, you have a full three days mm -hmm. to do it. And I see you're working on a couple as you go. Yeah. Is that for each? Is that just waiting to see what the story's going to be uh, for the dig? Yes, it's it's a question of one subject move forward faster than the other. For instance, now um, we know a lot more about the ruin which is down the road than on the main side, which is still in a halfway stage. We're going into the. Um, the heavy dig digging going on in there mm -hmm. and uh, stuff is coming up very slowly so I leave that one last but I can always start up with the landscape which is basically something that never changes yeah, okay. and then you know whether or not there was a lot more in a way of forestation and vegetables and things like that See, one of the things I love about your drawings is how you're able to animate and capture like a single moment. And one of my favourite ones, I was watching a program just recently where they really didn't find very much, but they found a coin. <laughs> and so you drew the image of someone tripping along on a yeah. stone and dropping their coin on the path. Yeah, that, that was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. What have been What's some of your favourites? Well, so many... Um, well, I, and that was a funny one, I enjoyed doing that one. Um, probably one of my favourite ones is going way back when we went to the West Indies and we, we did two programmes there which was great and particularly one about um, Amerindians who were the natives of that part of the West Indies and uh, it was amazing because we, we were finding their 
post halls, you know, structures for their houses. So they're they're finding they bits of bones of this strange little creature they were eating, which was a bit like a, a, a giant rat, I suppose, but it was a very tasty and juicy. So you find all these bones. And, and we knew a lot about their lifestyle, and so um, I had to do all set of drawings of where they lived, how they lived, and the animals they ate. So it was absolutely great. And the weather was wonderful too. So. <laughs> That's always nice. That helps. Okay, well we better let you get back to work, but thank you for sharing some of your time and yeah. for your beautiful illustrations on the show. Thank you.